we're going to be looking at a nuclear fission reactor. The neutrons that are produced from one fission reaction can go on to induce further fission reactions leading to a nuclear chain reaction. If the chain reaction continues but in an uncontrolled way, then a very large build-up of energy occurs in a very short time. And this happens in atomic bombs, creating a large explosion. Chain reaction has to be controlled in a nuclear power station that is used to generate electrical energy. There are three main components of a nuclear fission reactor. The first is the fuel rods, which contains our fissile material, uranium-235, which will releases energy. You next have the control rods, which are made out of boron, and these control the chain reaction by absorbing any extra neutrons that are produced, because on average, for a controlled chain reaction you want one neutron from a previous fission reaction to induce further fission. And finally we have the moderator which is made out of graphite carbon and the moderator slows down the fast neutrons that are produced in a fission reaction so that the neutrons have the right energy to induce further fission of uranium-235. Fission produces long-lived radioactive waste. So long-lived meaning they have a long half-life. Radioactive waste is dangerous because it can cause ionisation and so the radioactive waste has to be stored deep underground for a very long time in order to avoid environmental damage. This picture is showing you the nuclear waste that is stored deep underground at Sellafield. And these are two metre thick concrete lids, which is thick enough to absorb all the radiation so that there's no leakage.